Kia ora, everybody. Joe Holly here from Vibe Shift and Lift. And today I'm catching up with Alison Brewer, makeup artist. She normally works on my face. I'd love her to be here right now to spruce me up. She's also the founder of the Makeup Artist Collective. I'm a hair makeup artist and uh, that can be applied in, in, in any which arena. Love it. Love my job. Love what I do. Miss it. Miss it. Madly at the moment. I've been in the beauty industry for, gosh, when I say over 20 years, it makes me feel really old. But I've been working on like cosmetic counters and pharmacy since I was 16. And then I started doing weddings and then started working in corporate beauty and then film and television and freelancing and pretty much uh, every facet of the industry I can say I've um, put my finger in. And you have worked on so many celebrities uh, that have come into New Zealand, like just before the lockdown. Are you able to say who you were doing makeup on? So my actual official last job was, the, was on the 22nd of March and that was with Doctor Strange, Benedict Cumberbatch. Yeah, so there's little things like that that you can kind of say over your, your career that you get to meet and work with some incredibly talented people, artists, musicians, and actors and uh yeah so he was a highlight i mean i have seen you dipping into your makeup kits i've seen some photos of you online which i'm not used to seeing because you're not one to throw up selfies on there tell us what you've been up to so for me i i actually had some divinely forced time to to do my hair and do my makeup and, and maybe a little bit more diversity to what i did with makeup it's like riding a bike sometimes if you don't do it like often you feel a bit rusty. So I decided to do myself a little uh, a makeover and then DIY beauty shoot in my own backyard. If anyone was peeking through the fence, they, they would have uh, cracked up because I looked really, really awkward accidentally lying in the ground and some of my dog dog poop. Um, <laughs> I then kind of put it out there to my network of makeup artists because of the collective that I, I created on um, Facebook. There's a community of us out there. We've been we've been utilizing the, the platform by keeping in touch and whatnot and inspiring each other. And I, I kind of put it out there to hashtag be your own model and let's just do some selfies because yeah, uh, you know, we don't we don't get to do this on ourselves and, and it's okay. People wanna know the, the face behind the brush, so to speak. What should makeup artists do with their time right now? I mean, is it a good time to go online and start sprucing up the website, sprucing up Facebook, checking out their social media and getting that all in order, do you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm watching the collective group as far as a, an online page and I've been watching people's Instagram and I've been seeing how a lot of us um, freelancers are utilizing our time and, and, it, and it's been wonderful because there are makeup artists and mamas that are utilizing their children's um, faces. The Body Effects crew are doing some incredible daily um, makeovers and, and I'm loving that because we really have to keep our art alive in these very uncertain times. A lot of us have lost a lot of work and that's projecting forward to the unknown. You just got to be innovative and resourceful and, 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 and in a serious sense, try and, and, and keep your art alive. What am I going to do? How, how do I want to go about my business um, after this? Am, you know, am I going to stay doing makeup? Am I going to, you know, um, reinvent the wheel a little bit more with what I do for work? You know, the content, the, the websites, the Instagrams, the thinking outside the box is, I think, now's about, about time to do that, I reckon. You just got to do whatever whatever it takes to make yourself feel good. So I, I'm not getting outside that much. I'm not getting that sun exposure. I'm feeling a little bit ruddy and a bit dull. And so actually getting up and doing what I would be doing on a regular basis has been really good for my, dare I say it, for my mental health. I mean, the look good, feel better part has definitely um being something i'm focusing on if you can give yourself an hour shut the door you know get your hubby to take the kids away and you just lay your makeup out and just give it a go and 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 have some fun with it because essentially at the end of the day makeup is art and art should be fun and it should be creative and it is therapy i'm just having so much fun <laughs> pulling out all my weapons curling my hair <laughs> Like, is it like an old school crimper or something I see there? It's scary. It's like a lightsaber for here. This is a uh, Cloud9 Conula uh, wand. Amazing for curls. It's actually what I use today. And uh. this guy, this guy gives you those crazy big crimp waves. I do have as well a 1980s uh, crimper. <laughs> there's, only, there's only half my my uh, artillery, if you like. So I'm making fun for now, you know, and then I'm gonna, it's going to get serious and back to business for me in the next couple of days. And I think 
now that we're closer to, you know, the floodgate's going to be open and um, time to get busy. How do I know if my makeup is off? Like, I've got some makeup back in here from, like, way back in the day. Did have a little bit of furry stuff on the top. I just wiped it with a napkin and went, went back in for it. I've seen some horrific things in my time. When I, I actually used to do uh, makeovers and tutorials with people one-on-one -on -one and go through the what not to have in your makeup kit. And, you know, people get quite emotionally attached to um, some of their, their cosmetic items. And, you know, when you've had your Shiseido beauty cake, for 25 years, you know uh, it's uh, kind of time for that to go. It's a smell factor. If it's if it smells like you know a rotten carcass, then it really shouldn't be rubbed into your face. Obviously, and things like glosses will have that smell. Lipsticks will have that smell. Um, in terms of eyeshadows and powders and those kind of baked products, they will get like an oily, hard film on the top. And that's probably where you think you should be like digging in underneath and it must be good if it's underneath the bottom there. Um, no, 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 that, that, that's had its use by date and it totally should be gone. Mascaras, again, six months maximum, but even then a little bit less than that. Guilty, guilty of that digging underneath the eyeshadow to see now if there's some goodness underneath there and still using it. Okay, uh, I'm going to have to clean out my products. Yeah, and you know, a lot of people that have um, makeup brushes at home, again, they get neglected. And a lot of makeup brushes are actually made of natural animal hair. They need to be treated like you would your own hair. So, I mean, for me, I always, I would sanitize my brushes with an ISO clean or most of the residue of makeup off and then get in there with my shampoo. And then I'll even condition them and leave them out in the sun to dry. So you will get your value and longevity out of your brushes if you do look after them a bit more like that. Now, you have been uh, quite busy at home with your DIY products there. What have you been making to put on your face and put on your body? Admittedly, I did give myself a 30-day uh, lockdown beauty uh, mask marathon. And there's so many wonderful things that you can get in your kitchen or get from your fridge or have left over from lunch um, that you can put on your face. The leftover plunger coffee you know there's a, there's quite a lot of use for that and now that we're in this kind of um be a bit more conservative with things I was going oh actually no don't chuck that out I got a um a, a jar of honey and then used the leftover perk coffee and then I massaged it into my face really gently though left it on and then showered it off and so that was one of my masks actually my favorite and it had the best end results which blew me away avocado like I, I mash up avocado and I left it on for half an hour. I did make a bit of a skit out of it and I was eating corn chips. So there was a bit of, you know, two and one there. Lunch and, lunch and face masks at the same time. There's rolled oaks, there is, you know, egg white masks and toilet paper. But yeah, no, there's, there's quite a few things you can do and it's just go online. I mean, there's another makeup artist, even Bianca has said about, you know, doing things in your kitchen as well. Thank you so much for sharing your expertise with us today. Uh, I'm gonna take away some of these tips and go and throw out some of my products that I've got in there. Trust me, I won't be putting on any of my old mold rotten eyeshadow anymore i want to see that evidence please i want to see that photo yeah right i'm mean, gonna keep holding it <laughs> if i'm to kind of spread any message right now and and this kind of um this divine force time off we will call it is is to give yourself some tlc a little bit of self-care a little bit of self-love a little bit of self-appreciation you know makeup is uh always going to make up for something is kind of how I put it and, and it doesn't mean that um, you need makeup to be beautiful but it's just that a little bit of something just to lift you up. I would just use do my skincare regime make sure my skin is feeling and looking the best because you know your, your makeup's only going to look as good as the skin underneath anyway so I would do concealer a little bit of lipstick mascara and, and tame my brows and then if anything a little bit of lipstick I can use just to kind of give me a nice little bit of a you know a hint of color in my cheeks a bit of bronzer you can kind of also smudge it into your eyes you can just do that amount and, and it just will lift you up just a little bit more for sure and I've been in the industry for such a long time and I'm and I'm really open and obviously got time on my hands if anyone's got any kind of questions about skincare because that's where it all stems on for me is, is my, my skincare background too. So, you know, like use my brains, please, because otherwise I'm going to go nuts and explode with no one to tell my, you know, my gospel to. Beautiful message. Thank you so much for joining us today. And I'm going to shoot off now and I'm going to go and go through my makeup stuff and um, get rid of my rotten goods. Mm -hmm.